4 fifth cosine theta is 3 fifth and that also happen to be this angle so what we're going to do is we're going to sum the force in x direction for the bottom one <coughs> now if I do this you get FCF this force here and there will be a cosine component of that in the x so that's 3 fifth <coughs> and it will be positive then you got negative 90 and that should go to 0 so you get FCF as 90 times 5 divided by 3 so that's 150 pounds came out positive so it continues to go in that direction so that gives us one of the fours then <coughs> if I take let's say moment and if I take the moment I could choose let's say point A and that should go to zero so <coughs> this has two components one going this way one going this way I'll use the horizontal one and the dimensions here are so this was 1.5 feet and all the way across from here is 3 feet so if I need to write that equation we get F C F sine theta which is 4 fifth distance is 1.5 and the directional sense is counterclockwise. So that's one <coughs> plus we get GY. GY again at distance four point five directional sense again counterclockwise. So all this should add up to zero. And that should give us the force we were been looking for. Uh, you see we already know this so <coughs> the G Y should be negative and then if C F is 150 4 5th 1.5 divided by 4.5 so that's 3 and that's 50 so that's 10 and we get negative 40 pounds so that came out to be GY going up so we get 40 pounds positive going down as the reaction GY the only thing left now is the force at E so you have a choice you can sum the force in Y direction that should go to zero. <coughs> we get negative F A E plus F C F. We already know that's 150. Then its component, which is sine theta, we know that's 4 fifth. So that's those two plus G Y. We know that's 40. And this should go to zero. So we get F A E as one fifty four fifth minus forty. So that's thirty. So it's be one twenty minus forty is eighty pounds positive, which means it keeps it'll keep going down. Okay, so we got every force we need. So if I <coughs> redraw the diagrams, this is how the whole problem is going to look.
and this came out compression and the force came out to be 80 pounds and 80 pounds then there will be a force here 80 pounds it's going to be a force here 80 pounds then this came out tension force is 150 pounds so the point was connected you get 150 pounds here and you get 150 pounds here then in between there is a force here that's 60 pounds we found this reaction it came out to be 90 pounds and then did we find dy this one here Um, <coughs> there was an equation which said g y plus d y minus 60 was 0. There was overall equilibrium. So, <coughs> you know, this one came out to be 40 is equal 40 negative plus d y minus 60 is 0. So, d y comes out to be 100 pound positive goes up. So you're going to place here, reaction 100 pounds, then there was a reaction here, that's 90 pounds. Any questions on this? Okay, we're going to have a new set of